Investigators have said Michael Schumacher was not skiing excessively fast when he fell and hit his head on a rock in the French Alps, but have confirmed he did drift off piste. C'est à l'évidence un très bon skieur. It's obvious he's a very good skier. He was between three and six meters from the edge of the piste. At one point, his skis hit the edge of a protruding rock. He loses his balance and falls with his body forward. His head hits a rock, which is about 3.5 meters further down. When asked about Schumacher's exact speed, investigators said their inquiries were ongoing. We can't assess the speed in kilometers per hour, we can't give it a number for the moment, but it will become clear. But he was going at a pace of a good skier on a slope that isn't too steep. And this slope wasn't conducive to making curves to reduce one's speed. The ex-Formula One world champion is said to have entered this small off-piste area between the red and blue slopes at the time of the crash. One theory is Schumacher may have gone to help a fallen skier, but investigators said they had no evidence to verify this claim. They have said the French mountain slope had been prepared according to national standards. Schumacher remains in a medically induced coma in the French city of Grenoble. His condition is described as critical but stable.